Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. You're here with me, Franz the Planet, in the live room at Studio 31. And tonight, Johannesburg's hottest metal commodity, Sunken State. What's up, everyone? We're Sunken State, and we're going to start this stuff off with This is the End. Next one's called Swindler, and it uh, goes out to all those backstabbers. Take it back, take it back. 
Música
So this is one of our latest songs. Coming up next is called Abyss. So it's like a chonky. For those chonky boys out there. And ladies. <laughs> this one's called Abyss. And uh, you know, what can I really say? It's all in there in the lyrics. Back everyone, Franz Planet here with Sunken State. Just performed a fantastic set by them. And uh, to my left, I'm going to ask the guys to introduce themselves. What's up? I'm Pete. I hit the drums. Hello, my darlings. I'm Matthew, and I play guitar. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dwayne, and I do the screamy screams. Hello, everyone. I'm Prancho, and I play bass. Thank you very much for your time tonight. I really enjoyed that, like Sunken State playing, especially for us here at Studio 31. Before we carry on, remember to hit the subscribe, like, and comment on the things. YouTube, hashtag it. Cool, let's get back here. Let's go back 
Give the microphone to Dwayne, I think. Oh, you got the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it was coming. I was like, Dwayne, Dwayne, not yet. <laughs> um, Dwayne, give us a brief breakdown of the history of Sunken State, where it happened, I think, from 2019 officially. But you can tell our viewers a little bit more about that. Yo, okay, so it's going to be between me and Matt. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so going back, actually, it started, Sunken State officially started 2018. The name of first show was 2018 as well. Um, founding members, only ones remaining is me and Mattels. <laughs> so we go way back. <laughs> um, yeah, and in 2018, a different lineup. We had a bit of a different sound as well, you know. Uh, Matt was writing a lot of like OG gro groove riffs, like Lamb of God style stuff, mm -hmm. really cool. But um, yeah, he, Saw me at a show, we got a chatting, wrote some cool stuff together, and then, yeah, we officially formed Sunken State. First show was with Keisha, remember that? What show was that? Kushfest. Um, Kushfest. Oh, the first show was an open mic night. Oh, yeah, we played open mic night, I remember. <laughs> then we played Kushfest with a drummer with a drum machine. So that was really out there. <laughs> <laughs> we used to joke like, uh, you know, Randy, Chris, Chris, Chris Randy, Randy's not doing Chris drums. Randy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chris Adler was on drums. That was sick. Good old times. Now we've got the, the best drummer. So. The best endorsed by Sabian. Yes. yes. But before we get to Sabian, share this video, please. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Matt, tell us a little bit more of your, your recollection of that starting foundation. Yeah, so Dwayne is correct. Um, he, we, we did, we did start the band in 2018. We had, we did have a different lineup, um, super different vibes. Um, it was, it was when times were more simple and, right. um, <laughs> now things are a lot bigger than what they, what they were and it's super fun. But yeah, so, uh, we had another guitarist as well. Mm -hmm. His name was Stefan. He, it was, now we haven't had another guitarist for for ages and we wrote an EP which we had for so long before we released and everyone was like release 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 and then we eventually released it and then our old drummer was was like he was an auditor or something okay. and he was like super busy with work and the one time we had like a show coming up and he couldn't play it and we we're like okay we're gonna get a phone drummer and it'll be fine and then Facing the Gallows actually referred us to Pete mm -hmm. and um, uh, Pete came to a band practice at my college in Pretoria and then uh, me and our old bassist had lunch afterwards and we just sat down and kind of discussed how we were going to let our old drummer know how we're going to let him go. <laughs> <laughs> But did you, did you was, play him a yeah. frozen track? <laughs> and then we, we were sitting at the table and then like we got a, we were like talking, we didn't want to let him go, but we were like, we have someone who's like super keen and willing to committed. give all the time and committed. And then while we were talking, I got a WhatsApp from Pete and he was like, bro, like, do you think I could be in the band full time? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, okay, there we go. it's happening. Um, and then this man over here, Uncle Francois or Frank or whatever you want to call him. Um, he has recently joined Sunken State. He's a, a new vibe in Sunken State. Um, I love Francois so much. I love Francois um, so much. Just yeah. like Lamp. Yeah. yeah. The vibes of like, you know, the same. Beautiful the vibes. Gone up from Dude. Like two out of ten to like four out of, yeah, four out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> it's good my mark was in there. <laughs> No, but, yeah. <laughs> but um but yeah so front was the latest edition of sunken state and it's been super fun um and it's nice having some fresh vibes in the band uh -huh. um but yeah and that's, can we pass that microphone to pete now pass that microphone to uncle pete Hello, everyone. How's it, how's it, how's it? Hey, Uncle Pete, how you doing? Yeah, good. How are you, man? Good. I'm good. Thank you for asking, yeah, man. Of course, dude. I don't think any of them asked me. Sorry. But it's, it's not about me. It's about Sunken State tonight. <laughs> Here at Studio 31. Oh, I feel really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, is, is he correct on all points, what he said? Can you elaborate a bit? Yeah, um, for the most part, pretty much, eh? So what's funny is Matt and I actually had met prior at a oh, show yeah. at AJ's and I kind of brushed him off. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Sorry. You told me to go away. So at, at the time, 
<laughs> I was playing for I was playing for another band called Hypergiant, which was like super. I like to call it H string, because H string guitars super genty, super yeah. filthy, you know. Bang, bang. Um, and we had just gone off stage, and Matt had approached me about like recording for his college, and. Um, I was busy packing away my gear and stuff. So I was like, sorry, dude, I don't have the time. Go talk to that guy. And then that was this essentially it. And then fast forward a couple months, how's it? And you you let him in the band. Yeah. Because he was like a- Matt Swanepoel guy. is the coolest <laughs> guitarist out there. He's such a <laughs> humble guy too. <laughs> no, but I mean, like in all fairness, dude, that first rehearsal that we had, like you, the, the energy and like the vibes just resonated so well. It was like I'd, the communication without being able to talk to each other through the instruments was the only form of communication and it just, it was an like instant click. So I was like... Because I was like awkward. It, it, sorry, I'm taking your microphone. It was like awkward when I meet new people because I'm even like awkward right now. I'm not normally like this, but <laughs> it was awkward. <laughs> and when we played it, it was just sick. And right. it was nice and fun. And yeah. he shredded. And I was like, Yo, he can blast and stuff. So and stuff. Now we can. Now the rest is stuff. history. Yeah. <laughs> Pete, drums. How long have you been playing? Lead us up to where we are, like a couple of months back before. Sure. Okay, so it, it all started when I was about three. Okay, so this is going to take a little bit long for those of you that like some coffee. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, like, I, I used to draw on, like, pots and pans and Tupperware with knives and forks because, you know, I didn't have a drum kit. And then um, my dad got me, like, a whole bunch of percussion hand drums and taught me how to play those. Um, and then I started playing the circuit when I was about seven for a band called Us, also known as United Souls. Uh, this was in Peter Maritzburg side of life. Wow. Um, and then I got my first drum kit when I was 15 and I played for a band called The Uninvited, which was pretty much um, almost like an Iron Maiden sort of vibe. And then fast forward, geez, like, I'm so old, guys. Uh, <laughs> fast forward to 1993. Yeah. <laughs> I was 18. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so essentially then I, I only really started grasping uh, the more musicality side of it, if, if that is even the right term to use, when I joined Sunken States. Because um, before I was like, okay, I'd, I can apply music, but I wasn't thinking about the dynamics and how I could complement the guitars and what sort of accents to use where. Um, but yeah, for, most, for the most part, I am a self-taught drummer. Um, I've recently gone to a couple of lessons with a guy called Nikolai. He plays for a band called Mythos Crowned. Mm -hmm. Check them out. Mythos Crowned, man. What a fantastic band. Yeah, really? yeah. But um, yeah, and now prepping myself for, for Amfest. Got to play tight. Got to put on a good show. Fantastic. Pass it over to Dwayne there, please. <laughs> We'll, we'll get to all the, the, the tech and gear talk with uh, Matt in a little while. Your vocals. When was it like with, with Pete from a very young age that you thought, you know what, I want to scream? Or was it your mom that told you stop screaming because you were screaming the whole time? No, I, I don't think it. It was sort of like 13, 12, 13. So young, but not that young. Um, that I really picked it up and started doing it just because didn't know how to do it. YouTube wasn't really around. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> again, <laughs> yeah, I was born in, in 70, 73. Um, no. So, yeah, I heard Linkin Park and, um, like, stuff like that, but mostly Linkin Park, to be honest. That was the biggest inspiration for me when I was, like, really young. Saw, like, live in Texas. My dad is, like, a really m big m music guy. Um <clears throat> When I was really young, I also saw Metallica with them. So that sort of exposure to really heavy, hard music, you know. Well, what, what's not really considered so heavy, but it's still heavy for the mainstream person, you know. But um, it was pretty sick, and I just started screaming, and I was like, listen, I, I'm not going to find anyone because I lived in Rustenburg. So there was no one there around that really screamed. So I was like, listen, I'm just going to do it, and just started practicing to bands, you know what I mean? Um, started trying to emulate all my favorite vocalists. That's it. And from there, yeah, I just, as I got older and played more often, I started focusing on technique, um, longevity, tones, different sounds, you know, all that sort of stuff. Um, okay. Yeah, but um, I'd say from, yeah, around 2016 up until now, it's been like 
yeah, a constant build, build for me, you know, to to really push it as far as I can. Who do you who do you look at at the moment to push yourself further into the next kind of sunken state vocal vibe? Yeah, so I'd say there's like three guys that I like really, you know, this the sound that I like and like what I try and really like. I inspired to do be that good. It's like uh, Brand of Sacrifice. I'm, I don't know if you know the band. Their vocalist Kyle is insane. Also, like a technique guy. They're like yeah. a deathcore band, like one of these new deathcore bands, and um, <clears throat> just really heavy, heavy vocals. You know, and he does everything in like you know ten seconds. It's like four different screams, and wow, that's, that's the sort of shit where you're like, yo, okay, love that. You know. So that or like your classic deathcore guy again is Ben Dewar from Shout of Intent. That is like, yeah, just that sort of stuff is what I'm really into. Okay. You know? Yeah. So I'd say, obviously I listen to a lot of metalcore and stuff, but um, if you listen to my vocals, um, there's a lot of uh, screaming and not all of it is the deathcore style. You know yeah. what I mean? So in the screaming stuff, you'll have like all your big metalcore bands pretty much. I'll, that's the stuff I listen to the most. So your wage war, Etc. All that stuff. Even going back when I was really young, from Lincoln Park, it would go to like all the metalcore stuff. Really, just loved it. You know, still to this day. Nice. So, my face in the gallows is my favorite local band. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out face in I the think gallows. that's like yeah. So yeah, it's pretty much that for me in terms of nice. You excited for Ramfest 2023? So stoked, dude! I'm an industry Corey fanboy. Yeah, like yeah, it, like really big, and I saw them at OP as well. Yeah. It, blew my brain like I was just like I don't know what's going on it's crazy because <laughs> I didn't know them and I just saw that I was like oh it's an international band I was, I was young no I'm really stoked for Ram we've got the, the lineup we've got is going to be um, yeah we're stoked to play it for everyone I feel like uh, Oblivion on the big stage um, we've only played it a few times uh -huh. so to play that song on the big stage to everyone is like I'm really ready for it so yeah. fantastic fantastic Francois please take that microphone bud <laughs> now everyone's excited for Ram 2023 um, a little bird whispered into my ear earlier that uh, it'll be Francois's first festival I was that bird <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta be like that? <laughs> okay, Francois, the bassist, the new bassist of Sunken State, he's that little bird. Tweet, tweet. Tell us more, Francois. About Ram. About your expectations. I, I'm, I'm really nervous. Uh, like I said, it's, it's my first time, especially being on a big stage like that and that many people. But I am looking forward to it, so I think the excitement outweighs the nervousness. By a lot. By a lot, lot. By a lot, yeah. So no, I'm, I'm stoked, you know, I've been putting in the work. So I think if it happened earlier this year, you know, it would have been very difficult for me to, to play on a stage like that. But I think I'm as ready as possible. I mean, you've played Sonage a few times. Yeah, I've played Sonage a few times. They, they usually pull a uh, decent Town. crowd. Yeah, Daisy Jones, Fest, yeah. Death Fest was quite big. Oh, uh, that right. was the they, second they show went, You guys went down band. to Cape Town for Death yeah, Fest, yeah. that's it, yeah. yes. So that was my second show with the band, which was very nerve-wracking. <laughs> but I think like yeah, they just they just put me in the deep end and like swim. So nice. here I and am now. And he did swim. But yeah. but I must add they they've been extremely helpful and you know it's like I feel I feel it's good. You know I don't feel like I'm left in the dark. They always help. It's always it's it's cool. I'm happy. Fantastic. Cool. But if if I look at your your guitar, you got a five string dingwall. Yes. Tell us more about that because it's not just any Tom Dick or Harry that gets up and plays a guitar like you do. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I my background is actually guitar, so I I, I play guitar. Okay. Um, and then Matt phoned me and he's like, "Do you want to play bass?" And no, <laughs> obviously I said yes because at the time, you know, my favorite local band was Sunken State. So, um, as that as that shifted now because they got a new bassist. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's like, I, yeah, it's it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, my bass, uh, I really love it. You know, it's it's great to have an instrument of that caliber. Um, yeah, I got it from a guy in Cape Town who just messaged me, and you know, he initially, um, I said no because you know it's pretty expensive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then after a month or so, I just hit him up again, and I asked, you know, is it still available? And I made a plan, and yeah, I don't regret it. It's the best thing I could have bought. Definitely. That's great. Save up. Yeah. Is, is that your, your positive message for the, for the young ones? I guess if you want a dingwall, you got to save. There you, you go. Know. Saving? <laughs> save. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you want that thing, you got to save. It's expensive, but it's right. worth it. 
Definitely yeah. worth it. Fantastic. Love it. Matt, hello, darling. Hello, my angel. How are you? How you? Thanks for, for that beautiful song you wrote me. It's a pleasure. It was I, like, I, tears, <laughs> tears. It was a lot. It's it's the deepest heartstrings, all seven <laughs> lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> a major, D major, E major, bro. There we go. Whole song completed. Done. Matt Swanepoel. Right. <laughs> Catch us up. What is happening in Camp Sunken State? What's happening with the writing? Are we expecting new music for 2023? I know you just dropped Oblivion not so long ago. What is in the pipeline? So, like, we are currently writing stuff at the moment. And, yeah, we just released Oblivion, like, under a month ago. I think yeah. it's coming very close to a month so now. Same. And then before that, no, that's wrong. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, just under a month, twenty first of May. It was I don't know. It was like whatever. What's the date today? Uh, today it's the twenty. Eight, it's nineteenth. Twenty first. Yeah, twenty first. Twenty of January, February, March, May, June, July, August. Twenty first of August is a month. Is a month. Is a month. No, it's almost a month. I'm not sure, but. We released oh, Oblivion not long ago. <laughs> and then before that, also not that long before that, we did Abyss. Um, and it was like a massive change for the band. Mm. We even got a little bit of like pushback. People were like saying like, we, where's the thrash metal gone, bro? And I was just like, when, when our old bassist Dwayne left and Francois came and like, I and I'm sure all of us felt like we needed a big change. Mm -hmm. um, especially like with the way we sound and everything, we needed like a new direction and we started writing like, I got a seven string and we started writing like super modern, like kind of janty stuff. Um, we, I pushed like my clean singing more than we ever have. And like, I just, I wanted something like fresh. Um, and then what happened was like, we have like, or had like two songs on Spotify that were like super different to the rest yeah. <laughs> and we're like, shit. <laughs> so now we, we're busy. Like, you know what the thing is, is like at this point, like I, I honestly think the only reason you should be in a band or in a metal band or anything like that is j purely just for the love of it. Like if, if there's any intentions of, of wanting to, to do it, to get like famous or be cool or whatever like that, like, like don't do it because like the bigger you get, the harder it gets. And it's like so much work um, that actually goes behind everything. Um, and like, yeah. Uh, uh, also getting famous, like you won't get yeah. that in metal, by the way. But <laughs> yeah. like, unless, uh, unless you're out of the seventies and eighties and you're yes, Metallica, it, it Iron Maiden. Anymore. So yeah. like, the reason like the music changed was I think that was the main reason the music changed just because like we were like this is what we feel like doing now yeah. we're gonna do it we enjoying this you this know? is the music we like exactly we well that's know. good yeah it's, it's, it's the thing we need to play this stuff like yeah we, we play these songs so much you know so it, we need to have fun you know and be like super proud of the songs and it, first and foremost so if all of us like it, like there's nothing wrong with all this stuff it's super cool and we all proud it's cool but like you can't keep writing the same stuff. It's it's the obvious issue for a lot of bands. Like, yeah. you know, you got to switch it up. You can't stay with the same thing and can't re-release the same album. You know, it was our first first EP. I mean, you know, we're still finding our sound. Even like with Solace, I feel like we have, we're not quite dialed in. Like Solace was great, and but it's not, I feel like it's far from where we want to be, you know? So all the new stuff is definitely pushing us more towards us being like, yeah, this, this is where we can go. We can be even better, you know. We can write better songs. It doesn't even be heavier or softer per se, just better songs, whatever, you know. If if it's more singing for Matt, like told Matt, I don't mind the more singing or more screaming, whatever. Like, it, like the more you sing sometimes, the better, you know. Just yeah, like with, relax, you know? exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I can breathe for a change, you know. <laughs> Taking breaths on stage is like few and far between for me. Um, but like, it just adds so much. Like some of my favorite parts, on our, on our music is the lines I wrote like with Matt's voice like you know singing those lines it just slaps different than me doing anything over it and getting the same effect mm -hmm. you know but uh, yeah that's great yeah John it's all Pete yeah. how's it <laughs> like you breathe what are you writing, are you writing? 
Were you writing uh, smooth jazz core? Is is that is smooth jazz core? I I gotta hear this. I can't wait for the new music to come out by Sunken State. <laughs> Let's, yeah, let's, let's. Waiting, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are riding away for the music. It's coming. Uh, <laughs> so uh, with, with the band evolving and things happening and things changing, you recently, or Sabian recently announced your endorsement by them. Tell Indeed. us a little bit more about that and how it could potentially open doors for the band, if any, that you might think. Well, so first and foremost, um, my first, like, lacquer symbols I got, you know, like sp expensive ones. Yeah was all Sabian right. and um, I remembered like I got a really good report card so my dad was like hey I'll, I'll spoil you you know <laughs> it like changed my life really because I went from using like the, the cash converter symbols you know those fucking cut things <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the hot <laughs> pot lids yeah, yeah it's like <laughs> We're like everything just sounds flat you know what I mean and then, then I got those Sabian symbols and it really changed my life um in terms of the Sunken State brand, I do feel that it is a good look because it shows a more professional side to oh. us. I mean, like at the end of the day, yeah, sure, we are all here to have fun as as everyone has agreed upon, I think. Eh? Francois, you also agree? I'm having fun. Joel vibes. <laughs> Joel vibes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah sometimes, eh? Um, so as, as much as like it is about having fun and all that stuff, we, we also want to have a certain level of work ethic and with that, getting this recognition, it's it's like a good sign, if you will. Because, I mean, dude, putting in the hours every day and, and when I miss, like, just going through those hours of rehearsal, I get agitated with myself because I know if I don't, I'm going to start falling back. Right, yeah. And to to have that work now showing and getting the recognition is it's fantastic for me personally, but it's also great because I represent sunken states just as much as everyone else here does. So... It's like a, a band image words. Fit. No, it just fits really well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like it good with really the whole theme. There's, there's, there's a whole lot of positive messages in this video tonight. Thank you, guys. <laughs> it's like you can learn so much, kids. Listen to Sunken State. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, listen. <laughs> listen to, to their message and their music. There we yes, go. I do. <laughs> no, because I mean, like, yeah, I, I, I'm at, one of the, one of the things I can say is like, we do have all the fun, but there's a lot of stuff that people don't see. There's a lot of like bleeding hands and fingers, and there's tears, and like you go through the parts where you get defeated, and then you got to get back up and and keep pushing through it. Is the camera still there? Okay? Otherwise. I'm in the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like there, there's a lot of hard work that, that goes in just to like further on what Matt was saying. And even when it comes to what order we're playing in the songs in and how are we going to structure the set list, what are we going to do in between the songs? You know, you got to keep your audience entertained. And it's 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 to the point where Matt and I probably speak about eight to nine hours a week on the phone going through different ideas and making sure that we're on the same page with things. And then I'll have a Hoi Millies with Francois and say, how's it to make sure he's good? And then I'll see Dwayne in band practice and we catch up on things. I also waiting for like the music and Sometimes you've got to keep them guessing, eh? Right? <laughs> Keeps it exciting. Yeah, yeah they're like, I'll play something for the first time at practice. You know, I'll be like, okay. Okay. It's going this way. <laughs> Fobs, bro. <Fobs. laughs> uh, okay, so we're still here with Sunken State in the studio at Studio 31. <laughs> so, yeah, it's 12, yeah. It's 12 midnight. <laughs> it's 12 <laughs> so many takes on these freaking tracks tonight. It's Yo. sorry. Keep your shade, eh? <laughs> anyway, coming back to uh, closing off our chat tonight, any final words from you, Pete? What would you like to bring across to other people, fans, listen, uh, people that listen or stream? If you are considering starting music or you play in a band and you feel like you're not getting anywhere, anywhere just keep at it. Just keep doing it. Short and sweet. Nice. Playing every show is a good thing. <laughs>
No, we don't pay every show. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Uh, I, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't it Matt's time to say goodbye yet. Brutal. Brutal. Before, before we say goodbye to Matt, tell us about your tech gear. What do you run? We know that um, P is running Sabian Symbols. You've got a go. I use uh, a Kemper profiler, which is like a digital amp that emulates real amps. And I love it so much. It's my child and my everything and then i also have um, a mesa boogie cab that i'm using that's beautiful and i love that as well like my i've got two children there and then i've got <laughs> another child there which is my ibanez rgd7 rl which is the ibanez seven string and i love that so much as that's well i have no endorsements endorse me someone if you want to but um <laughs> it. like, how's it ibanez how's it kemper <laughs> Lance, <laughs> but yeah, so, but yeah, so I, I'm obsessed with gear. Um, I love gear so much and it's a huge part of, of everything for me. Um, it's like a passion of mine as well, getting crazy guitar tones and recording and mixing and mastering and all of this stuff. So it's party vibes around. That's my gear. Nice. Thank you very much. Does that make sense? Yeah. What yeah. microphone do you use, Dwayne? That one, not the ASM58 <laughs> like everyone else does. Actually, I'm use uh, live. I use the Sennheiser E835. Yeah. yeah. So same as this one. Same as the one you're yeah, using. Okay. Yeah. Um, honestly, these two are very similar. That one has some like uh, high frequencies. I think that complement my voice a bit better. Right. On the, those highs and screams that I do. <coughs> Sorry. So yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's what I use, and I use some in-ears every now and then, but they don't really do much for me because I can never hear myself no matter what the situation is. Okay. And I'm never happy with that. But, um, <laughs> He's the man's honest. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it's like, no, yeah, no, that's, that's pretty much my gear talk. Um, uh, but, yeah, message or what? You said something about it. Yeah, queer message to your listeners, your fans. Oh. Yeah, so to all our fans, thanks for the support. You know, we love you guys. Thanks for coming out to shows. Please keep keep buying merch. Uh, we might have something coming to make it easier in future, you know, for people nice. to get a hold of our merch because now it's quite a mission. I know I get people messaging all of us all the time for merch and it's oh, just a mission to get it, get it to them, you know. So we try and working on something that makes that easier for everyone all over South Africa. But anyway, yeah, just support us by streaming, share it with people if you really like what we're doing all over the social medias and stuffs. And then, uh, yeah, my message to the world is uh, don't play all the shows either. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> We'll, we'll, we need to stop the memeing. People are going to get annoyed. Um, I'm loving the memes. <laughs> and, and anyone out there that's not loving those memes. I'm the one who made the anonymous post. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's one way of getting something going. Talk, get it, he's the one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that's, that's me. I don't really have a message, I think. I write enough lyrics and yeah, whatever you get from it. Like it. Lovely. Well, uh, same thing for you, Francois. Thank you, first and foremost. Oh, yeah. Thank you like for Like, for being us. here. Um, yeah. And, uh, and spreading your story all the way from the Platteland almost. Yeah, Harry Smith. Harry Smith. Harry Smith, yeah. like Afrikaans, free start. I say, I say, yeah. I feel off. But, but I just play bass, and I want to say thank you for supporting us, and we'll keep on playing shows. Fantastic, short and sweet. Well, guys, if there's anything else from you that you'd like to say, um, feel free and say it. Otherwise, okay. any one of you? Peter? Peter, you good? It's your time. You're fine in front of the camera. Hi, Mom. Hello, Mom and Dad. Uh, Hello. Bye. Uh, People on the interwebs, thank you so much for watching. Um, All the links, description below. Follow, share, like, comment, stream. We'll put some merch store details in below also. And um, yeah, check out the other videos. And uh, like, do like, share. And I do what these dudes do and be cool. On that note, it's been good. It's been fun. Keep it heavy. And remember, let metal shape you. Good night.